Hello everyone, I'm Unified Thrills, and today I will be doing a pre and post review of Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. So what inspired me to create this kind of review is I always hear enthusiasts going in with certain expectations and being let down, which happens to me all the time, so you'll get to see how I experience it before and after. Let's begin. So with Outlaw Run and pretty much every other topper track there is, I always hear there's a rattle and even some potholes. There's one main one on Outlaw Run I hear about, and that being at the bottom of the first drop. I will be trying to hold up the restraint to avoid getting stapled, but RMC restraints are very hard to hold up, so I'll have to see how that works out. So the next part I want to talk about is that one stall inversion that comes after the drop. Everyone goes in expecting it to be spectacular and being let down, so I am not expecting too much from this element. However, the next part, the Twisted Airtime Hill, I hear a lot of good things about this element and it having good ejector airtime, so I'm expecting good things from this element and into the leading element, everyone talks about the dive through the lift hill and how it's such a big surprise because they weren't expecting it However, it's too late for me, I already know about it, and I've been seeing this for many years now, so it's no longer a surprise. So the next element is the biggest unknown on this roller coaster layout for me, because I've already ridden one wave turn before, and it was too short, and it just felt like an airtime hill. However, on Outlaw Run, it's more drawn out and longer. So I'm not expecting the airtime to be as strong, but I am expecting me to kind of realize that I'm actually sideways. So hopefully this part will be pretty enjoyable. And as you exit the wave turn, I heard that the airtime hill is the strongest on the whole ride. So I'm expecting good things from that. Uh, I don't know if it'll be my favorite part, but who knows? Now we're at the finale. I am nervous about the double heartline roll, mainly because the roughness people are talking about and I don't think it's going to be too comfortable, even though it has lap bars, just like the shakiness of it. I hear people talk about it being great all the time, but I still don't know. So if I had to pick one element I think will be my favorite, I think it would have to be the first drop. First drops are normally my favorite. It's an RMC, so it has to be good. And that completes the first half of the review. I will be leaving September 19th, 2021 and I will let y'all know when I get back to it. Okay, so this past weekend, I got the ride outlaw run, and it's not quite what I was expecting, but it was a little bit better than my expectations. I'm gonna go through it in a minute uh, on a POV, but before I do that, I have to say, the roughness was not near as bad as I thought. There is one spot, and I'll make sure I go over it when I'm showing the POV. But other than that, I thought it was pretty smooth. Okay, to start off, I thought the drop was going to be my favorite part of the ride. I do not believe it is. I think it's the Twisted Airtime Hill. And also, I thought the pothole was farther, but it's right here. It's kind of rough right there. You do get stabled. I could not hold up the restraint. Okay, so before I rode, I got my expectations up for this part, and I was actually kind of surprised. It has more of a hang time, but I still thought it was pretty whippy, so I enjoyed the element quite a bit. So up next, this turn, everyone was saying it was really forceful. I didn't think it was too crazy, but the next hill is my favorite part of the ride, I believe. There is a pothole, so be prepared for it. Kinda hurts, but it's still fun. Okay, so the next hill, unfortunately, was very overshadowed. I have no memory of riding over this hill. Uh, the only thing I remember is the next hill. And I have to say, I was pretty surprised I was not let down. It's really fun how it just like goes from positives and then instantly flips and you already have an airtime. <laughs> okay, so the next part I was very nervous about. Unfortunately, I was let down. I did realize I was sideways, but the airtime wasn't as crazy as I was expecting. Okay, so here's another hill that I was kind of really excited for. It wasn't too great. It also kind of was overshadowed 
by the next element, but I'll get to that in one sec. Okay, so this double heart line roll, I was surprised and let down. So I liked the first one, but the second one, it did not track well. It kind of hurt. It just was a little too much. I didn't really like it, but like the first one is just perfect. Okay, so how I view the ride now. So don't get me wrong, I didn't hate the ride. It's still in my top 25. Uh, this is just to show how my views of the ride changed before and after. But it was a good ride. I really loved it. It had great airtime, a lot of ejector. You kind of have to prepare for those potholes. But other than that, this is really a flawless coaster. And I'm actually going to add one more thing. Did I think it was too short? I don't think so. Because just of how the potholes are and how good the airtime and just the layout in general is, I think if it went any longer, it would be a little too much. I think that's all I need to say about this roller coaster. Uh, I've really got to show you all in depth of how I see it before and after. And I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.